international recording legend Denny Zager of Zager Easy Play Guitars and writer of In the Year 2525, the biggest one-hit wonder in world recording history, selling over 20 million records. C chord is one of the hardest chords out there. <laughs> uh, I use some of the most of any chord uh, that I've got in my vocabulary. It's really good for the Zager style because I can do everything at once. I can uh, play the thumb over here, if you can see real close, holding it up. I'm not using two fingers to do it. Well, actually four fingers over here, plus the thumb. But the point I'm getting at is I use it like this, and then I wrap the thumb up here. And what's neat about that is I have I can do other things. If you look really closely, I can do other things with this little finger over here, like play lead lines. That's playing uh, using the little finger as a lead line. Now the thumb comes up here instead of being used up over here. So that's different. Okay, it's the same chord, but different fingers. And I can play the lead line over here with this little finger plus the chord back here. I wouldn't be able to do that before because the uh, the chord itself would use up all the fingers like it is here. So as you can hear, it's the same chord, but I'm holding it different. Let me re let me go over that now. The thumb is back here. Keep in mind, it's the same as this were the nut. This is the nut up here, the white part. The capo just goes in as the nut. So I've got the thumb there, and I use the fatty tissue of the thumb to hold it down. That's the beauty of a Zager guitar, too. Uh, most guitar strings are inset further, and I wouldn't be able to reach that like that. Uh, the string, the uh, uh, finger, I should say the string, would be in like that instead of out close. Can you see the difference? So the the span of the string on the guitar, Zager guitar is stretched out. It's wider. There's more room. And that bottom string is closer to the edge. So I can get that thumb up there. Other guitars aren't that way. <laughs> There's a lot of things that you can do on a Zager guitar that you can't do on other guitars. Let's play it for one. <laughs> they play like a breeze. We call them easy plays for a reason. Okay. Now let's get further in this C chord. So we got the pointer right here on the second string in, the third string in, we got this finger, and then the fourth string in, we got that, and we can get, well, let me see if I gave you that right. Pointer here, second finger in, and the third finger in there. Let me show you that really close so you can see it. This is difficult, folks. <laughs> Trying to be the cameraman and the chief cook and bottle washer all at once. Now the thumb comes up there. And I don't have it way up there. No, I just have it on the edge. And it's the fatty tissue right here that holds that string down. That's the secret. As you can hear, it plays real well up here. I'm in a contorted position <laughs> because I'm trying to get, let you see that. See, the thumb comes in. Here's the next one right here, the next one right here, and the next one over here. Now, so you understand, that's the second string. Just do it like, like you see it there. Thumb, 
winder. So you can get a good look at it. Thumb, next finger, next finger back. I need one of your. Okay, so instead of playing that this way, and you can play it that way, a lot of people play it that way, but they don't have a little finger to do other things. Look at this little finger. They've got it used up back here. Secret to the C chord. Now here's the G. A lot of the time I'll use an F right here. I'll show you that one too. That one's a tough one. We can do that one with a bar. This is the same chord. It's closer to the C. Look at the efficiency there. A lot of the good chords are down here. So the C chord uh, on a Zager guitar, first of all, the strings are lower. They're a wider stance from here to here. If you measure from this point to this point over here, it's a little bit wider, neck, but it has to be just right. Too wide a neck is a problem then too. So that's, that's not worth it. <laughs> uh, so a building of a guitar and doing it right and making it really playable. It's going to make you shine as a guitarist. Don't you want a guitar like that instead of one that discourages you? And so many people, it's a sad story. They are discouraged by the guitar that they're playing. This one, the strings are way low, low tension, so they don't hurt your fingers. There's room for the fingers, like the C chord. I can do that. I wouldn't be able to do that on uh, other guitars. So uh, uh, you get one that sounds good, uh, the size you want. This is an OM. Uh, it's one of my favorites. And uh, uh, this one, they have good tone. You can get them with the transducers and all the good things. So uh, the C chord can be very feasible for you. And uh, uh, this is the way to do it. Pointer, second thing, uh, finger, third finger, and then the thumb on the bass. Secret to the C chord. Good luck. You'll get there. Thanks for watching.